Good morning, vlog. It's Tuesday. Are you, are you making tacos today? Oh, you have volleyball. It's super early. Oh, yeah. I want tacos. Tacos sound really good. Like your tacos. Like your tacos. It's Tuesday, and today, is this the last volleyball? The sand volleyball? Yeah. It's the last one. It's only been like three. Yeah. Well, we had a busy summer. It's funny to say that because summer's almost and over. And I didn't do weekend ones. There's only three weeks left in summer. Everyone's out of bed. Bryce just rolled out of bed, obviously, since we're sitting on his bed right now. I actually just got off a FaceTime call with uh, Papa just to get his a professional opinion on... Uh, he's got some years on you. Yeah, he's got some years on me on how to fix some stuff. So Bryce's bed, because I had a couple of ideas, but like one idea was permanent. And if we do that, then when we go to move again, Bryce's bed is ruined. We'll have to buy him a new bed, which we don't want to do that. No, I think it's like... I know, I know, but it's like it like ruined it. Um, so anyway, he gave me he gave me some some ideas. So uh, later this afternoon, after my live stream, when they go to the volleyball, Bryce and I are gonna work on his bed. We're gonna fix that, get his bed back in there. So sounds can, like a hoot. Get his bed going again. Um, but yeah, getting ready to edit the vlog, start my live stream. See if I'm gonna go to the gym. Kids are gonna go make some breakfast and eat some food. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, got the, uh, the vlog uploading. Heated up some leftover stir fry from yesterday and uh, finished up my coffee. Speaking of coffee this morning, uh, Tiff and I made, you know, made, made our pot of King's Coast coffee and we hit the couch and uh, caught up on some vlogs. Uh, we saw Charles and Allie, their, their, uh, their birth vlog. They just had their, their baby girl, uh, which is very exciting. Uh, new parents, you know, when you see friends, you know, um, having babies for the first time. Tiff and I, obviously, we started young. Uh, we, we met in high school and we were together, uh, you know, end of high school, into college, and then, you know, bought a house, got married, had a kid, and it was, it was just boom, boom, boom. So we're kind of on old school, on the old school side, right? Sears 14, should be 15 this year, and like I've got friends from high school, friends from college, vlogger friends that are just now having babies, and it's it's crazy and wild to think about that, like. It's, we, we are, ours are, you know, 15, it's been 15 years since we've been parents. Um, so yeah, I, I, I shot him a text and said congratulations to them and, you know, welcome to the, welcome to the club, that sort of thing. And then, uh, since I was on YouTube, uh, I was going through my sub, my sub feed and uh, I saw a video from Cullen and Katie uh, and they're selling their house. They're uh, very similar, similar stories, uh, so a lot of similarities there between us. Um, you know, they bought their house a little over two years ago, like when we did, and um, they're put it up for sale and have a lot of the same feelings that we did. Um, you know, bought the big house, thought it'd be, you know, our forever house, or at least, you know, until the kids were gone in 10, 20 years. Um, it was just too big, right? They talk about, Colin talked about had empty rooms, right? And they're paying for empty rooms. I'm like, yep, been done. we had that problem, and we were paying for empty rooms. And for us, it was more of a location thing. They didn't really mention location as much, um, whereas that was a major, major factor for our decision and our move. And I mentioned this yesterday, uh, how awesome it is that I can grab my longboard and just like skate down to a coffee shop, right? The, the, the Starbucks. And um, they just announced that they were building like four or five new places at that same intersection. So there's gonna be like, like a Taco Bell and a Barros Pizza and I think that maybe a Denny's or a, a breakfast breakfast place and a couple other fast food locations and that whole that whole area that whole intersection is just going to start build out. So I mean, within the next year, I'll be able to skate or walk or ride or bike down to exactly what I wanted. Like that was a big thing for me. So anyway, I'm getting off topic, but it, it was just nice to sit on YouTube for a little bit and catch up with some old friends um, because. The last two years I've been focusing on Twitch and live streaming and gaming and so those are the friends that I've been hanging out with and seeing, the conferences I go to, the events that I go to, and the people that I talk to and catch up with on the most. Um, I just don't watch YouTube anymore and so other than Twitter and Instagram, I don't really know what's going on in my friends' lives, you know, my YouTube friends, the family vlogger friends and so it felt nice to kind of just sit there with my iPad and catch up with them and um, you know, see what's going on in their lives. We are back reunited. Bryce playing video games all day. Sierra has been watching Stranger Things. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. I've been Stranger Things. Cleaning. Oh, yeah, it's really short. I don't know if he told you guys, but she's got. Did we talk about this morning? Sand volleyball. I don't know. But it's we have to be there about 5.30. You already said it was like the last game. Yeah. Okay. So you guys already know. So we're getting ready to go to that. We're going to feed our bellies first. So a super early dinner. It's like 2 o'clock. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Taco Burrito Tuesday. Tuesday. Bryce prefers the soft, so he made a little burrito. It's crazy. <laughs> and we like the crunch. 
But yeah, about a 45 minute drive. We're gonna stop and get some Sonic slushies, right? Because it's gonna it's be a hot so one. Hot. Wait, what? The last one. What? Oh, what? you wanna come? You no. wanna come support your sister or watch? Where's You'll get a slushie out of it. I have a Culver's Point pint. Oh, you're good. It's really fun to watch, actually. It's gonna be so hot, though. Yeah. Because last, the last two or three ones that we went to was like the beginning of summer, so it wasn't as cold. Right, Are but now it was a high. Now oh, it's 113 now right now. It's the hottest part of summer, basically. <laughs> so. Making it simple. Just going with the tacos today. I, feel like I love when you make just normal crunchy tacos with beef. Guess what? It's probably my favorite. It's really nothing special. It's just. Know, but I love it. You know, Tasty. brown and some ground beef. You need different shells though. I like when you make the big Box shells. shells. Woo! All right. Uh, fast forward. It's 4:40 p.m. Just wrapped up my live stream. Sitting down to eat some tacos. The girls just left for volleyball. Bryce is upstairs doing his thing. And uh, yeah, I'm hungry. I'm excited. Great stream though. Great stream though. Uh, got some stuff done in Destiny. Played with some friends. And uh, we busted open the brand new G Fuel flavor. I got early access. Uh, it doesn't come out for another couple of days uh, where you can order it, but it's the snow cone flavor, right? Summertime, snow cone flavor. It's very good. I can't put my finger on what it, flavor it is. Like obviously it's snow cone flavor, but like when I was a kid, when you order a snow cone, you ask, they ask you what flavor snow cone, right? Cherry, lemonade, blue raspberry, orange, tiger's blood, right? It's like a blue, it's not blue raspberry, it's lighter than that but it has a tinge of like, maybe like acidic, like citrus, I don't know. Like I, I, like I said, it was maybe it's blue raspberry lemonade, but then there's like a, a tartness to it, like almost like a candy flavor, like a, I don't know, it's hard to, hard, to, hard to put my finger on what it is, but it's really good, I really enjoy it. Um, G Fuel's been knocking it out of the park with these flavors, man, like the last year, all the flavors that they've come out with, right, type O, was the most recent one, and that is passion fruit. Bahama Mama is awesome. Top 10 flavor for me. Pink grapefruit's good. Uh, what else What else has been new this last year? Um, the chug, uh, Blue Chug Rug is one of my top five favorites. Battle Juice is pineapple, that's awesome. There's just so many good flavors, so many good flavors, but um, my promo code will be back to 30% off when the snow cones launch. Just use promo code Clintus. Anytime you buy G Fuel, throw my promo code in there. Most of the time it's worth 30%. They, they've been really good about just giving me like a, a discount and a sale multiple times a month now. Like I just had a week of 30% off. I'm doing it again this week. So, um, you know, anytime you're buying G Fuel, just throw promo code Clintus in and uh, you'll save something. Got our slushies. I'm trying the summer months they have their mocktails. I don't know if that's new this summer. They always have them, but I've been wanting to try one. So here we go, pina colada. It's really sweet. Sierra with blue coconut with nerds. nerds. Sugar and add some more sugar. Take our new You ready for this? Yep. At least there's a breeze, right? Yeah, it's not bad when you're especially in the shade right here. It's not bad. We're in the shade. Wait till you get out there in that hot it's sand. Like, <laughs> the sun goes, when the sun goes down. That's what the water's for. Yeah. yeah. You'll have to water it down. We're in some errands. P.O. box to ship a bunch of stuff off, truck wash because it's way overdue, and then uh, head back home to work on some videos. That deep foam action. Oh, yeah. Get in there real deep, boy. Decided to go for a little walk down to Starbucks, doing some tea tonight. That coffee, I was jacked for a while. 
decided that tea would be a better better choice this late in the evening. So here I am, guava white tea, very good, very good. And uh, just do my little walk, listen to a podcast, listen to the worst radio show podcast. It's funny, it's very funny. Too much. Too much power! Stop doing that! Alright guys, it's, uh, it's, it's about 1am. I've been on the couch for the last 3 or 4 hours. Uh, I got back from my walk at Starbucks and I got my laptop and I finished editing the, uh, the travel montage. Got that off to Chrysler for approval. Pretty proud of that. I'm excited, uh, a lot of memories on that. And then I just uh, did some uh, some email and some research. Um, I've been watching more and more videos on YouTube about YouTube. Um, found a couple new channels, um, people, that, guys I knew, know, but never watched their channel before about the YouTube algorithm and just where YouTube is these days and things to think about. Um, because even though I'm kind of like over YouTube, at the same time, I love you guys, and uh, this is where I, my roots are, and this is where I came from, and so I still have a part of my heart and my soul that wants the channel to continue to be successful and continue to do things while I'm still growing other parts of my business. Um, this is still home, right? This channel is still home, and so you never want to, you know, you never want to give up your roots or forget where you come from. So I'm still trying to, you know do something with YouTube. And then lastly, uh, I was listening to some music because I'm trying to find some uh, some intro music for the podcast. Uh, something I've been thinking about for a while, making some changes to the podcast. I got some exciting things, cooking and brewing, whatever you want to call it, and music is one of those things. So I'm going to hit up uh, one of my friends who uh, makes fantastic music. I was listening to like, I pretty much listened to his whole library just now um, and I started falling asleep. So that's why I'm like, I gotta go to bed. But um, yeah, more on that in the future. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, since you can't leave comments, uh, be sure to hit me up on Twitter, at Clintus, and uh, just say what's up. Let me know you watched the video. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow, maybe? Question mark?